Hello, in this video I'll show you how to use my latest plugin, Headless Virtual Crypto Farm plugin for WordPress. So to get started, click plugins, add new, upload plugin, choose file, navigate the zip file you downloaded, click install now. After the installation, activate the plugin and go to plugin settings. Now you will see that the plugin requires a headless public key for it to function. To get one click here, log into your account or create an account if you don't have one and create a new site. Click save. Here you will get the public key for the site. This is it. Copy the public key and paste it here. Now you can save settings and the plugin will be ready to function on your site. Let's see it in action. Here it is. Notice that my CPU is high because of my screen recording software which is taking away care a bit of my processing power but uh, let's be okay with this so let's start with uh, let's start mining uh, and let's see what happens to our processor we start mining and our processor uprised let's increase the number of threads and we reached 100 percent for you this uh, baseline should be at uh, five percent so at idle <coughs> uh, let's increase the throttle also hashes increase so note that the users will be able to change how they mine for your uh, for you on your website okay so let's go back to plugin configuration and let's see some more features you can automatically start mining on page load if you check this let's see what happens if we refresh our page mining is automatically started if you remember mining did not start uh, before the user had to manually start mining <coughs> if you check this checkbox mining will start also on wordpress admin uh, you can detect device battery and stop mining when device on battery let's check this and see what happens this is a quite nice feature so if you see now let's increase threads to maximum for my computer okay now I will remove the power from my computer and mining stopped I will plug it back in and mining started and so on so if the user goes uh, on battery his battery will not be drained okay you can also disable the mining of mobile devices uh, you can also copy the Atlas script locally this will help you uh, not be caught by antivirus software, anti-malware software or firewalls because some categorize uh, mining as malware <coughs> this is because some users don't uh, give notifications on some websites that they use the visitor CPU this is why uh, some are categorized as malware you can set the default number of threads on desktop mobile default throttle for desktop mobile these numbers will appear 
here for thread and throttle. Uh, you can run only for logged in users, for not logged in users, you can hide notification. I don't recommend this, but the plugin gives you the option to do this. <coughs> also, you can change the way the plugin notifies the user. This is fully customizable, as you can see here. Okay. Here you can change the message that appears for the user. Notice that you have short codes. These short codes will display uh, the hashes per second. This is this. This will be automatically refreshed. Uh, total number of hashes, hashes accepted, throttle input, threads input, these are these two input boxes. Uh, the close button, more info button and start stop button. The close button is the side button. You can change the text for the close button, the more info button and the link where the more info button takes the users. Here you have some uh, advanced features about how the plugin notifies users. You can fade background of the pop-up, auto hide pop-up after a preset delay, disable pop-up for logged in users. You can set the cookie lifetime after how <coughs> uh, much time the pop-up should appear to a visitor. Uh, use pop-up short code refresh interval this is the amount of milliseconds after which these will refresh these two okay uh, notice that the cookie lifetime only applies if you check this checkbox show only once per visitor but I'll talk uh, immediately about this a bit more animation style you can change the style of the animation when the pop-up disappears you can make it slide or fade text padding background style background color text color closing link color show pop-up border rounded corners show buttons button color button border color pop-up font style font size bold italic and underline these are advanced options for the pop-up so let me show you the pop-up real quick this is it if we change the color to let's say anything this one it doesn't really matter and uh, change the text color just for you to see the changes happening in action and now if we refresh <coughs> Also, you can change the position. Let's say I want this setup. Okay. There are some more uh, features. Panel sticks with original position. Custom CSS. Show only once per visitor. If you check this the plugin will use the cookie lifetime settings so if you want to use this the pop-up will show only once per visitor and uh, for that visitor it will show again after this amount of minutes if you uncheck this each time a visitor uh, goes to your website the pop-up will show also you can use this short code to uh, show to, uh, to make a link uh, which clicked will show the pop-up again even if this amount of minutes did not pass the cookie lifetime okay also the plugin has an activity and logging section here you can see some errors if the plugin had some errors they will be listed here and you can restore plugin default settings so uh, this is all about the plugin. Let's go to our dashboard and let's see what happened here. We can see. The
we can see that I already got 40,000 uh, hashes, some pending payment. Uh, Atlas is very nice because it can pay directly in dollars, not necessarily in Monero. So if you don't like Monero, you can get paid in dollars to your PayPal, uh, PayPal account. Okay, so this is all. I hope you will enjoy this plugin. Until next time, bye bye.